All right, guys. Let's do it. It's going to be a pro run. We're going to get the million. And if we call Burke, he will not let us down. Yeah, RTX I'm going is on. To do my best. And my best is the million dollars. I hate Ruben already. Lifeline. Which of these is a type of melon? Watermelon. I'm going to choose B. Watermelon. Yes, absolutely. What is the present perf what? What is the present perfect tense's third per what? What is the present perfect tense's third person singular of the verb to eat? Okay, B. Let's roll. Oh fuck, I haven't and thought of that shit in forever. Also the way they the way they worded that was so stupid. That will be my f It's the wrong answer. Yes, but the questions were also too hard. Present oh, perfect no, tenses? So what the fuck? It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was the second question. Is basic English? No, the the phrasing of that question was stupid as fuck. I just chose anything. I didn't even I barely even looked at what I chose. Basic English that you never think about after high school. Yeah, also, the English language and all of its rules and the way that they label it's stupid as fuck. It's why it's one of the hardest language. It's one of the hardest languages to learn if you don't speak English. Because all of our, all of our stuff and the way that we label it and like sentences like that one are dumb as fuck. I feel good about this run, okay? Who was president of the United States in 2001? That would be a George Bush. Graham W. Hedgerow. Yes. That's my final answer. Yes, you are right. How many events are there in a triathlon? Three. That's the one. We can move the letter on H in question. hydrogen. <laughs> it's hydrogen. Come on, George. I'm certain that it's B. So, well done. You've got it. What is the title of Dan Brown's best-selling book? The Da Vinci Code. D the C Raphael C Conundrum. Good. I'm gonna say D. Fine. You got it. Good luck to you. Which of these Kennedys is not a member of the American political dynasty? Nigel? John, obviously. Robert, obviously. I've never heard of a Nigel Kennedy. I'm just gonna go with I'm that. I could be wrong. I really hope I'm not, because it'll be stupid to go out on it. But yeah. Who the fuck's Nigel Kennedy? Which piece of music is used to herald the arrival of a U.S. president? It is hail to the chief. I think that the right answer is B. You know... You make it look easy. How many presidents of the U.S. were there before Abraham Lincoln? Fuck! We could go to Burke. I don't think he'd know this. You know what? I'm gonna go to you guys. You know what? I'm gonna use the, the game. I'm gonna okay. use the games. Let's get a friend on the line. Yes, Burke? Okay. We'll go to Burke. Uh, hello. Hi, Burke. I have your friend. Gassy Mexican here. He is going oh, hey. for more money. Can't remember exactly which one we're going for, but here he is. Hey, Burke, it's me again. Um, this one's kind of a historical one. I should know it, and I'm a little ashamed that I don't. Uh, try not to use chat, you know, because I just I want to yeah, make sure yeah. that it's a good run and uh, one I can be proud of. Anyways, the question yeah. is this: right. How many presidents of the United States were there before Abraham Lincoln? How many presidents were there before Abraham Lincoln? A. Ten. B, 13, C, 15, or D, 17. They did this girl back in high school. Right. Related to Abraham Lincoln, and uh, she always said the number 13. 13, you're pretty certain on that? Nope. All right, let's go for it. This sounds good to me. Um. Got this, buddy. I, I, do, I do think the call is kind of breaking up a little bit, though. Hello, yeah. this is who yeah. wants to be a millionaire uh, call. You sure? Did you, did yes. did you get it in there? To you. I'm okay. I'm, I'm going in. Let's see. Here it is. 13. It's B. Let's most see. Important question of all. Is this your final answer? Final answer. Oh. Yes, please. Yes. That's my final yes. answer. Let's see. Huh? If this is your final answer, mm -hmm. let's hope it's the correct answer. It's it was 15, 15, you stupid motherfucker! Oh shit, the call's in, 
Disconnect How can that do this to me again? It's a game, after all. Also, when I thought about it in my head, and it's gonna sound like I wasn't, and I'm just saying this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Lincoln was the 16th president. But I wasn't certain. No, I wasn't certain enough. My brain was telling me 16. I wasn't certain. I think I've done okay answering a majority of these questions correctly on my own, but it just it's a luck of the draw. Sometimes it's just an area that you just you just not have you have not thought about in forever. Uh, which of these phrases describes a miserly person? Miserly, maybe. Penny pension. I'm choosing A. Just own it. You got it. Okay. Which of these is the name of a U.S. state? Uh. North Carolina, obviously. I'm gonna try C. So this is your final answer? That's an answer. I can East Virginia. Online. The TV series The Simpsons. Who provides the voice for Lisa Simpson? Nancy Cartwright. I'm choosing C. You had to make a choice. <gasps> what a pity. What? This is oh, it's for Lisa! It's for Lisa! I would never oh. have that on such a quick end. How is that? too fast! I read Was the capital of the United States, Chicago. D All right, Washington, D.C. Good. Let's get the baby questions out of the way. Which card game involves shouting when two identical cards are turned over? It's, it's not poker. It's not snap. My brain wants to say canasta. Maybe it's bridge. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go with my brain. I'm choosing C. Are you sure? <laughs> I could be wrong. A snap. It's snap. It's snap. Who the fuck plays what snap? What the fuck is snap? Really? What is Snap? We had to snap your bangles, but do you stay I end up skipping a lot because I'm just like, I don't know why the host is so like dry and robotic. All right, which of these uh, is the name of a mountain? What? I'm sure that it's B. Okay, we have faith. I know. Yes, absolutely. What is the name of Hansel's sister, Gretel? Girdle. <laughs> Yeah, the, the host operates like he's like an animatronic. And we're still going forward. In the pantomime, Cinderella loses a slipper made of what glass? What word means a person who yearns to be someone else, especially a rich celebrity? A wannabe? All the other things look stupid as fuck. That will be my final. Yes. Which city's NFL team is not named after an animal? Cowboys. You got to the threshold. Money is All right, that was pretty easy. How does Romeo meet his death in Shakespeare's tragedy, Romeo and Juliet? Poisoned. I would say C. Yeah. Yep. Walter Cronkite was a longtime anchorman for which TV, uh, TV network? CBS. Not CNN. Fuck, I thought I knew it. My gut says CBS. And now I'm gonna do a 50-50 just to... Okay, please take away two random It's a waste. Answers. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, right uh, fuck. It could be, it, the thing is, it could it. be NBC or whatever. Walter Cronkite. And this is CBS. It's CBS. It's gotta be. CBS. I'm going with CBS. Please, for the love of God, don't let me be wrong. Fuck yeah. Well done. I shouldn't question, have used that, but I, I was worried. Worry you. Joseph Heller's novel Catch-22 is set during which war? It seems like a perfect question for Burke. I think we have to phone Burke. Uh, final answer hotlines, how can I help you? Hi Burke, uh, this is generic host, uh, calling for millionaire. Your friend, uh, Max here is going for a million. He's at a thousand and he's going further and he needs your help. Can you help him? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Well, what here time he is, is it? here he is now. Oh, okay. Hi, Burke. Uh, so, it's Joseph Heller's novel, Catch-22, is uh -huh. set during which war? A, World War One. B, World War Two. C, Vietnam, or D, Korea. It's Joseph Heller's novel, Catch-22, is set during which war? World War One is A, B, World War Two. C, Vietnam, D, Korea. You know, I dated a girl uh -huh. uh, who wrote that book. Joseph Heller. Yeah. 
and uh, I believe Heller. Well, that, that that that's a German name, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not certain. I think uh, Joseph Heller. That sounds German. So I'm thinking more like World War One, World War Two. Um, and then, then the name of the book is Catcher Catch Twenty Two. Catch Twenty Two. Let's go with World War Two. Okay, World War Two. We're gonna go for it. In my gut and I'm Choose B. Me. World War Two. Are you absolutely sure? Is ready. that your final answer? Uh, yeah. Yes, that's my final answer. You have made your choice. Of course. It's World War II! Well, hey, I, I knew it. I told you. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. You're all, no problem, buddy. I'm here for you. All right, bye-bye. You got one. In a standard English language Scrabble game, which of these... Uh, Goddamn Scrabble questions. Which of these letters is worth eight points? Q, V, I have no fucking no, clue. No, but I'm I, sure I, that I have the right answer. I, I don't fucking know. You think Z would probably be it. I'm just going to go ahead and put this to uh, audience vote. It's looking like y'all are pretty firm on CX. Is worth eight points in a standard English language Scrabble game. We will go with that. We will go with that. You figured it out perfectly. Nice answer. Nice. Perfectly executed. Good job, chat. Good job, awesome. chat. Sirius is another name for what? Don't like that question. Let's switch the question right now. Not Living certain on it. Don't like up. the timer on it. Fuck me, I was gonna say dogster. What is the literal meaning of the Latin word pessimus? One would think negative. Or worst. I'm gonna go negative. I'm just gonna lock it in. I'm gonna go that. Fuck! It was worst! Fuck! No regrets. Shit, fuck balls! I did my best. <laughs> that was the pessimist outcome. Someone who is old fashioned is said to be behind the time. B for me. Which of these draw cartoon draws cartoons? An animator. C An intimator. Right intimator. My life intimidator. It. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Animator. So that's an answer. This I'm going to pick A. Is what? Unfortunately, it all ends here for you. Chuck is for Charles. Ah. Rick is so weird. I don't think about Rick as Richard. Rick? Read that too fast? Yeah, but Rick is also stupid. Which sport are matches decided by score goals as opposed to scoring points? Yeah, huh. It's C, no doubt. Nope, C. Fine. You really know. <laughs> and which train do Harry Potter and his fellow pupils travel to school? The Hogwarts Express. Hermione 125. B is the most plausible one. <clears throat> what is the amount of money paid to boxers by their promoter of a fight? It's either wallet or pouch. I don't actually know this. It's definitely not purse or handbag. I don't actually know. I'm annoyed, so I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to call it the pouch. Okay. See. Might be wrong, though. I think though. it's the it's, right one. Could be, it's either, one of these two. Be I'm going to be so surprised if it's one of the... I don't know I'm enough about it. I just don't. So I'd rather um, just take a stab in the dark and... It's, it's purse? Sad, Fuck, it's, it's purse? That's so this stupid. Is... I hate this fucking game. All right, let's take our time, shall we? In which month is Thanksgiving celebrated in the United States? Is that... You make it look easy. The famous American singer is Whitney Houston. The seat of the U.S. government is in which city? And I'm going to say... A. You really know... Which of these fabrics is traditionally used for military uniforms? Khaki? Well, let's go for D. You, you pulled it off. <laughs> Which of these was a notorious outlaw of the... It's Billy the Kid. And now you've reached the... What is the name for the special room or building in which cows are milked? When you're behind the screen. I want to say parlor. Or buyer, I don't fucking know. Pizza to Hut, if they're here right now, is like 
it's clearly this. I'll do a 50-50. Never heard of a scullery. I gotta go with parlor. Let's go for C. It might be yeah, scullery, but I just I'm not familiar with that. Parlor sounds more correct to me. Well done. You got it. Anika Sorenstam is associated with which sport? I think golf, but I'm not certain. So that means I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you guys. Looks like I'm gonna go with my gut. And we're gonna go B golf. B golf. Is that your final? Got it right. Well nice job, guys. <sighs> In which U.S. state is Shina Shinadua National Park? This seems like a Burke question. Kanye. Oh. <sighs> Thank Hello. God. I thought I was gonna have to uh, just answer on my own. No worries. Got you. I got a call. I got a question. It's, uh, okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's in which U.S. state is Shena, Shenandoah, spelled S-E, sorry, S-H-E-N, Shen, uh -huh. then A-N-D-O-A-H, Shenandoah National Park. In which U.S. state is Shenandoah National Park? A, South Dakota. B, Virginia, C, Texas, or D, California. I dated uh, this girl in high school from Shannon Oak, Central, uh, the park. And <laughs> yeah, the, just the park? It's Shenandoah. You're making me nervous about your actual uh, probability of getting it correct. Uh, no, 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 no. She was from there. Um, and I, uh, okay, uh, what are the options one more time? Because I, I was waiting for the bell to ring. It was high school. It's A, uh, South Dakota, B, South Dakota. Virginia, C, Texas, and D, California. It is Shenandoah National Park. Shenandoah National Park, South Dakota. South Dakota? That sounds right. You think it's South Dakota? I don't think I know. Okay, I'm I'm going with you on South Dakota. Here we go. A? That's it. Yeah, let's go for A. That's it. You know what my next <clears throat> question is, right? Is this your final answer? Yes, it's my final answer. That will be my final answer. Oh, wow. You have given your time. final answer. I hope it is the right one. It's what Virginia! Oh wow, that was really bad. So disappointed with myself. Burke! It was an incredible. It's gone! Run. Great game. Oh.